the phone with my demon. Hey. He tell me get rid of my feelings. Uh-uh. I'm on the phone with my demon. He tell me go work cause you're limitless. You don't got right so we see it. What's good YouTube man? Welcome back for another video with your boy Mikey man. Hey, so for today's video we're doing something different, you feel me? I've been always trying to do this on the channel. I've always been trying to do this, I don't I don't know for like the longest since I started reacting to Brazilian music, Italian music, all kinds of music. I've been trying to like feel me try different snacks from different countries, you feel me? And luckily our sponsor for today's video, he they got us right, you feel me? Well, before we get started with today's video, let me talk to you guys a little bit about today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by the one and only Try Treats. So Try Treats is a subscription, it's a snack subscription company where you guys could try different snacks from different countries. What you guys usually do is like you go on the, you have a website, trytreats.com. You go on that website, explore, and see what type of snacks you guys want to try. Like, I know most of you guys like me. I know most of you guys are just like me. You guys want to try different country snacks. Just like me, I've been wondering how to get those type of stuff. And uh, Try Treats were able to send me like a snack to try out. If you want to try different snacks from different cultures, I think Try Treats is the best. All you got to do is just like request the snacks you want and they'll send it to your doorstep. You feel me? So whatever snacks you guys want, whatever snacks you guys are looking for, Try Treats is willing to send it to you guys. Every month, they send you a new snack to try out, you feel me? You can also choose, go to the website and choose whatever, like, the country you want to try the snacks from. If you want to try from Brazil, they have Brazilian snacks. If you want to try from Italy, they have Italian snacks. They have everything available for you. And they kind of they send a snack in a nice little package like this. It's kind of like this. You guys don't see it like that. It's a nice packaging. I have an exclusive coupon for you guys, you feel me? This is a coupon for me to you guys. You, you can always unsubscribe from this too, you feel me? You know, but if you guys want to give this a try for your first purchase, you can use my code, it's Mikey, for 15% off your first purchase, you feel me? Hey, make sure you go crazy with this code. And yeah, man, thank you guys for watching the video. And thank you, Try Treats, for sponsoring today's video. Hey, let's get back into today's video, man. Right here, they sent me this little, oh my God. They sent me like a box of snacks, you feel me? Send me like a box of snacks. Thank you, TryTreats.com for sponsoring today's video and sending me this box. It's like a, it's like a box of snacks, bro. You feel me? They sent this to me like last month, right? I was supposed to do this video, but then I got sick. And then a lot of like college, you guys don't know I'm in school. So like I wanted the right time. I wanted to do the video on the right time, you feel me? When everything was cool, everything was relaxed, you feel me? And I'll get this video done, you feel me? But today's video, we're doing something I've been trying to do on the channel for a little bit. We're trying snacks there's some italian snacks it's a nice packaging thank you try treats for sponsoring today's video and thank you roger from try treats so if you guys don't know we're trying we trying italian snacks if you want me italian snacks try treats they made this in a good packaging it's like a nice little package you know what i mean they got the little they got like a little something like a little note card you feel me it's like a explore there's a lot of facts on here too if you see it i don't know if you guys can see it but it's a lot like facts and stuff that if you guys didn't know about Italy, hey, it's all on here for you guys, you feel me? And they got like the different snack. They got different snacks on here. The snacks I'm about to try out. They got the names, what type of snack it is. But they got like a little Italian flag on it too. This is tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. But yeah, I want to see what snack this is. This is, okay. So for the first snack, the first snack is Nuvola by Massimo. Nuvola by Massimo, you feel me? It's how it look like. It's what it look like. It's like a little. It's kind of like big though. You feel me? It's what it look like. A little packaging, and I believe it's, it's it has it's milk. Is it milk? I don't know. It's like okay. Let me read it. Nuvola is also known as white snowball cake. It's a cake treat coated with white chocolate and milky cream filling. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It's a little sus, but okay. Okay. All right. So they said, okay, all right. So it's, it's like a, it's like a little cake thing, and in the middle it has like a little milky thing in it. So hey, let's try this out. Let's try and see what this is all about. Never tried it. Tell us. That's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. That's some, that's some fancy little packaging. You feel me? One thing about, one thing about Italians, bro. They go crazy with whatever they make. You feel me? The cars, everything, everything go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 
Mmm. Hold on. Yo, this is good. Nah, this is actually good. Oh my god. It's like a cake. Hmm, hold on. There's like chocolate filling on the top. I don't know what type of flavor that is. White chocolate, okay. Alright. Now this is actually good though. Hmm. Alright. I was supposed to just take a little bite, but this was actually good. Hmm. We have to a good start. We have to a good start. Feel me? This is actually good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Novola milk. I'll give this a ten out of ten, but I ain't gonna catch you. I was not expecting it to taste like that, but that. I'll give that a 10 out of 10 for me. Hmm. Hold on. Damn. That's actually good. Oh my goodness. Next one is, um. So for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna like take a little bite of it. But for the next, we got Cubetti. Cubetti. I don't know if that's how you say it. Cubetti. Cubetti. It's like hazelnut. Let me see if it's on there. It's a it's Cubetti wafer cookies by Dosero. I think I've heard the name Dosero before. I've heard that Dos Dosero name. I've heard it before. I, it's kind of familiar. It kind of sounds familiar. You feel me? But hey, let's try this one out. Let's see what this is all about. All right. Okay. 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 I see. I see what this is. I see what this is. I kind of see what this is all about. Like, it's kind of like. Kinda has like a little chocolate filling in the middle. Probably, I'm not sure. Is it chocolate? Okay, it's chocolate. Not right there. Damn, how do you break this? Alright. We got a little piece of it. Piece of it. Right here. That's what it looks like. Feel me? It's like a little like layered up chocolate with like feel me. You guys most of you guys know what this is. Not this is, but like you've had something that looked like this before. Hmm. Yo. It just melts. Okay. It just melts in your mouth, bro. It just melts in your mouth. Hmm. That's interesting. That's crazy. It just melts, like it literally just melts in your mouth. So, it's kind of fire too. It tastes like, it kind of has like, it kind of reminds me of Kit Kat. But it's like a different version of it. Cause I could feel the taste, I could taste. One thing about this is like, you could really taste like the things inside, you feel me? Like, you could tell there's like, I could taste the hazelnut, you feel me, inside. That's crazy, that's crazy. This is another one, it's another one, it's another one. So the next snack we got is the, um. Baloco, I don't know if it's Baloco. I don't know if you guys know what this is. Baloco milk vanilla wafer. You feel me? Let me see. Let me see this on there. And you can see it says it says right here. I like I like the fact that like the Italian snacks they have the little logo on the thing saying like I don't know. Uh, okay, this, I think this is the first one I've seen it on. You feel me? Now it has the little Italian. They have the little Italian like logo on the thing. Where it tells you what type of country it's from, you feel me? You see that right there? That's cool though, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. This is another one. It's another wafer. It's like Boloco Snack a Milk Wafer. Alright, we're gonna try this one out. This, I kinda, I'm, the way this is looking, bro, kinda have high hopes for this one. I feel like this is gonna taste so good. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Let's see what this is all about, man. I like the packaging, the packaging is a little thick. Kinda like that. Okay, we got one. We got one. This is what it looked like. It's all white. And it's kind of like it's a vanilla flavor one. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh my God. Yo, this might be my favorite one. Oh my god, huh? Yeah, this might be my favorite one though. I'm not gonna lie to you, this might be my favorite one. Like for this, yo, oh my goodness. For this one, you kind of have to like, once you bite it, and once it melts in your mouth, you kind of have to like, like you feel me? Like let your um your taste buds kind of get the little taste of it, you feel me? Feel every single, oh my God, this is actually good. This is, a, I, I give this one a 10 out of 10 too. This is like, perfect. This is perfect though. Oh my God. All right, that's crazy. That's crazy. We, we three snacks in and all of them like, I'll give this one an eight out of 10 though. I'll give the, um, the chocolate wafer, I'll give the chocolate wafer 8 out of 10. But for the two snacks I already tried, I'll give both of them 10 out of 10. They're like crazy. You feel me? Can we on to the next one? We got a little candy. I don't know what candy this is. It's a fruit candy by Mancini. Alright, I think I have, I, I think I might have three different flavors. Alright, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we kind of have the, um, what flavor is this? Wait, we have more, okay. Okay, 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 alright, this is good. So this one's the two different candies, and this one's, this one's are like different candies too, you feel me? Fruit candy by Mangini are flavored, are fruit flavored hard candies. Yeah, they are absolutely delicious and made with all natural ingredients, all natural ingredients, okay. Often found at Italian restaurants, this treat are favorite for kids and adults alike, okay. Alright, so it's kind of like... It's kind of like this type of snacks like you find like when you go somewhere like like you go to a bank like 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 more, usually when I go to the bank or like something there's usually like snacks just sitting around but it's mostly like they usually have like mint flavor snacks or like like mint flavor candies or like some other like like lifesavers or some other stuff like that but this is cool though this is cool it's kind of like this like you go to a restaurant and this is the type of snacks you find sitting around or something like that you feel me to us this looks this is probably this is probably gonna be the first time to me this is probably gonna be the first time I've seen this. To somebody that's Italian or something like that, they see they probably seen this a lot. You feel me? This is probably like a regular candy for them. But to me, it's kinda like an exotic snack, you feel me? I'm kinda like, damn, this is actually cool. But then to them it's like a regular thing, you feel me? But yeah. I don't know which flavors to snack. Okay, so I got I got two of the same flavors, and then I got like I got like two different I got three different flavors, but then I got like one extra of this flavor, you feel me? So I'm gonna just try it. I don't know which one to try though. I wanna just try one. Or oh, actually, I'm gonna try two. I'm gonna try this flavor, cause I have an extra one. And then I'm gonna try the orange flavor. I don't know what flavor this is. I'm trying to figure this one out. I can't tell what flavor this one is. Uh, I would say it's not orange. I don't think it's orange. I don't know what flavor this is though. It's red, but I don't think it's orange. What it smells like, okay. It don't really have a smell to it, it don't really have a smell to it. It's just like a this is what it looked like kind of like white, feel me? Kind of whitish. That's cool though, that's cool. I kind of like this, kind of like what it looked like. Okay, I kind of taste the orange. All right. I kind of taste the orange, you feel me? The orange is like a it's like a subtle taste, you feel me? Like you got to really like feel me like like really dive into the candy before you can actually like really taste the the, the flavor of the candy. But overall, 
I think it's a cool snack. Me, me personally, I'm not really a huge fan of uh, candies. I don't like really like candies like that. But this is cool though. This is like you could taste this. Like if most candies are like basic, but this you could tell like it's well flavored and stuff like that. And I don't know, are they all the same flavor? I think they're all the same flavor. It's just different packaging. You feel me? Or like different like colors and stuff like that. But I feel like they're all the same flavor. You feel me? Because he has the same. Everything is the same except for the color. But yeah. I'll give this a 7.5 out of 10. You feel me? me personally, I'll give this a 7.5 out of 10. So we're moving on to the next one. I just want to... I don't know if it's the same. Okay. I think it is, but it's just like... They look different. On the paper. They look different on the paper, but I think it's the same thing. You feel me? But we got Florentine. La Florentine. We got La Florentine. This is a candy. This is what it looked like. This is what the packaging looked like for the candy. Um, what it looks like you guys can see it yeah it looks cool though kind of looks cool so and it has a little like italian thing i don't know what i don't know where this is but it has like a little thing in the back it has the the ingredients in the back and it has the name of the candy in the back and it has like somebody in the front i don't know who this is i don't know who this is and it says i gonzaga i don't know who this is but the packaging look cool though. The, the packaging looks cool, you feel me? But yeah, let's see what this is. Before we go in, let me see what it is. It's a traditional Italian soft nougat made with smooth gold honey, sugar, egg whites with toasted almonds, freshly squeezed oranges, lemons, and vanilla beans. Okay. All right. Let's see what this is all about though. Let's see what it's all about. It has a lot of it has a lot of things in it though. It says egg whites. Gold honey sugar almonds squeeze orange lemons and yo that's a lot of flavor. I ain't gonna catch you. That's a lot of stuff in it. But yeah, and this is like when you pull it out from the when you pull it out from the box, this is what the box looked like. When you pull it out, this is what it looked like in the the little package and stuff like that. But yeah, we're gonna open this up. Okay. Okay, I almost dropped the candy. I ain't gonna cat to you, bro. I almost dropped. Oh my god, it has like I don't know if you can see it, but the, you can see the almonds in it. The almonds are literally like you can see, you can literally see the almonds, bro. That's cool. That's really cool, though. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Let me see. I could taste the lemon. I could taste the orange and the lemon. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Hmm, okay. This is interesting. This is an interesting one. This is an interesting one. You know why? Cause I could taste, I could literally taste the, I could taste the, what called the vanilla, I got to taste the orange and the lemons. I could, I could literally taste all kinds of, and then I'm biting into like a, like an almond. You feel me? Like damn. And when I when I first bit it, I was kind of like I was kind of suspicious. I was like, why does it taste like this? But then when you kind of bite into it and you chew it for a little bit, then it's like an aftertaste. You have to get the aftertaste. The aftertaste is what catches you. You feel me? But overall, I give this snack an 8 out of 10. You feel me? I don't know. It's kind of. I feel like it's kind of doing a lot. Too much. There's a lot too much going on. But hey, it just has an interesting taste. You feel me? I feel like it's doing a lot. Like, like I feel like you don't need lemons and oranges. And the same thing. You feel me? And there's an egg whites and toasted. Uh, okay. I feel like it's doing a lot. But that's what you guys like. You feel me? That's what the Italians like. And I'm just trying it out. You feel me? I'm giving my honest opinion about it. You feel me? But out of overall, I give it an eight out of ten. That's kind of that's kind of cool because it has like you can really taste every single flavor in that. It's crazy. The next on the list, we got this right here. I don't know what this is. All right, so next on the list, we got um. Let me see what it is. We got chocolate cone snack by Missouri. Feel me? It's a cone shaped confection filled with rich chocolate cream for fun stocking stuffer shaped like an ice cream cone cono snacks are just as tasty as ice cream but crunchier okay all right 
Alright, this look interesting. I, I when I seen it, I kind of thought, I thought for a second, I was like, is this ice cream? But then I looked at it, it's like, okay, cool. Kono snack choco parties for me. One thing I, I don't know if I said this already, but they always have like a little Italian flag on the thing, just to let you know like the snack is Italian. You know? I don't know if you can see it, but it says it right here on the side right here. It's a product of Italy, of Italy. You feel me? It has like an Italian thing on the side, so you guys should know like exactly where the snack is from. That's cool. That's kind of cool. I don't think United States have that thing on their snacks. I think it's just like you already. If you live in the United States and you try the snack, you should know it's a United States snack. You feel me? This is cool though. This is cool. Am I supposed to open it like that? Was I supposed to open it from the side or was I supposed to open it from the top? I kind of feel like I I just messed that up. I think I feel like I was supposed to open it from the top. But you know what? <laughs> That's my first time. It's the first time for everything, you know. And I don't think we were supposed to. Wait, why is it like this? Oh my God! Did I just ruin it? Did I just ruined the whole thing. Okay, all right, all right. No, I think I did. I did just. Okay, all right. That's, how how do how do you get to the cone? Hold on. Why is it like this? Got it. That's what it looked like. That's what it looks like. It's kind of like little though. It's kind of small. That's what it looks like. I think he has like a bit of I don't know if that's M and M's, but it has a little something on the top. You feel me? I feel like it look they look like M and M's, but I don't think they M and M's. I don't know if they actually chocolate or it's mint. Let me take one of it. Let me try one. Oh, it's okay, it's chocolate. It's chocolate. Did you, they look like M and M's? So I guess I guess this is like the Italian version of M and M's. Feel me? But it's cool though. Am I supposed to bite? How am I supposed to bite? How am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to just bite it, or I'm supposed to bite it with the um the cone? Feel me? I don't want. How how do you guys eat this? I don't know if you're supposed to eat it just like that, like like that, or you're supposed to kind of like bite the top with the cone. How do you eat? How do you eat this? If you're from Italy, tell me how you eat this. I'm gonna eat it how I want to eat it. Though, feel me? Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Hmm. The chocolate. The chocolate kinda caught me though. Yo, this chocolate is actually good. The MM chocolate is actually good. Interesting, bro. Do well, I try to break it, but it didn't break. But <laughs> this was left. They were not lying though. They were really not lying though. It, it kind of do taste like ice cream. Kind of tastes like ice cream, you feel me? Mm. Kind of mess with this. I give this one a 9.5 out of 10. You know I me? Mean? Because it kind of like. It's not ice cream, but it kind of like. Kind of replaces the ice cream taste, you feel me? And that's kind of cool. It's cool. So yeah, this, I give this a 9 out of 10. This is cool though. Kono Snack by Missouri. It's cool. It's cool. 9.5 out of 10. So on to the next snack. We got the biggest one out of all of them. We got the biggest one out of all of them. We got the Toscan Crips. Crisp. I said Crips. Crisp by Dosetto. It's a famous Italian brand. Because I've seen two of the Dosettos. So we got this one right here. Nah. Okay. Okay. Alright. I didn't know how to open it. I was just, I was just making sure, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like people have a way, like for me, people have a way of opening the snacks. This is what it comes in. It comes in like a little bag. Okay, kind of this it. it kind of keeps it, it, keeps it like for me fresh. Like that. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. 
Now let's see what this is all about. It kind of is crushed though. Kind of like a little bit crushed, but I'm not complaining. Kind of, it kind of looks good. Though. Me personally, though, I'm not a big fan of those like, like those type of biscuits. I don't know if it's a biscuit, but it smells like onion rings. That's an onion ring. It smells like um, what is this snack called? There's this. Funyuns. If you guys know what Funyuns are, it's like an American snack. It smells like Funyuns. Right. I can smell the onion taste though. I can smell the onion. Alright, we'll give this a try. I'm not really a huge fan of onions, but... Okay. Not gonna lie to you, this is interesting. Mm. Alright. Mm. That was interesting though, that was interesting for me. Me personally, I'll give this a 5 out of 10, you feel me? I kind of have like a sweet taste, like I kind of have a like a sweet taste, like I like sweet stuff. So when it comes to like salty, cream, sour cream, stuff like that, I really don't like those, you feel me? I'm not going to lie to you. But, some other people prefer this, you feel me? Other people like this snack, I'm not saying... That's a bad snack. I'm just saying, me personally, on my personal level, I prefer not to eat this. For me, it's not. It's not bad though. It's not bad. But if you give me this with like a beverage or something or something to drink with it, I might be able to eat it. But like, if you tell me to eat it raw, I don't think. Just like that, I don't think I'll be able to do that. And it kind of has the the onion taste to it. You feel me? And I'm not really a huge fan of onions like that. You feel me? But yeah, I'll give it a five point five. Hold on. 5.5 out of 10. That's just me though. That's just me. That's my personal rating for it. But yeah, that's it for the um the Tuscan crisps. Tuscan crisps. Dose by Dosero. For me. Made in Italy. Let's go on to the next one. I think we got like three more snacks. Yeah, we got three more snacks. Alright. What is that paper? Okay. For the next one, we got um breadsticks. We got breadsticks by Etal Brand. We got breadsticks by Etal Brand. That's what it looked like. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's what it looked like. It's kind of like, like that. Feel me? That's what it looked like. It's kind of long. Feel me? And they look like they look like breadsticks. Feel me? Just breadsticks. But yeah, we about to try this one. I don't know what. Hold on, let me read this real quick. It said breadsticks by Etal Brand are delicious traditional breadsticks that are individually wrapped to and to enjoy every to enjoy anywhere and on the go. Crunchy in texture. And savory and taste. This breadsticks can be amazingly addictive. Okay. okay. It didn't tell me what type of flavor it has though. It says it could be addicting though. Feel me? If something could be addicting. Hey, hey. I promise you. This is the first one. This is what it looked like. Kind of is like long though. I ain't gonna cap to you. It's long. It's long. But it's cool though. This part is kind of burnt. This part is kind of burnt though. So you can see the difference. Like, see this part? And then once you get here, it's like a little brownish. A little too brown. Yeah, I could, I could taste how burnt it is. I could taste it. It's burnt from this side. So let me switch it. Okay. 
Look at that. Okay. All right. Yep. That's it for the breadsticks by a tall brand. I really don't know how to feel about this though. They kind of don't have a taste to me. It's not sweet. It's not sour. It's not bitter. It's just like a plain thing. And I feel like this type of snacks, bro, you have to eat them with something. Like, like either you drink them with a type of beverage or like you just can't eat them raw. So, me personally, though, I rate this. I give this a seven out of ten. You feel me? I just feel like I can't eat this alone. I can't just eat this raw. So then, I might have to need like a like a little drink, like a soda or like a, a juice to kind of like help me with this. You feel me? But like I said, maybe the Italians or maybe people from from Italy are probably used to like eating this like that. I'm not used to it. You feel me? And I kind of have like a sweet taste. Like I kind of like things that are like have like a taste to it and this does not really have a taste it's just kind of like blank you know what i'm saying but yeah the um breadsticks by a tall brand i'll give it a seven out of ten we on to the next one and we got this one this is the last but not least this is this is the last but one more i said this is the last but one more after this one, we have one more snack, and then that's it for the snacks. Mm -hmm. This is called um, the Candy Fizz String by Zotes. This is a cherry flavored one. Let me read what it says. This is send your taste buds on a wild ride with the Zotes String. A hard candy with the fizzy sour center. Okay. All right. Sour. It has sour in it. That's kind of sour. All right. Interesting. It looks and tastes like a um a regular hard candy, but when you bite in the in the center, you discover a surprise in the form of fizzle. Okay, it's kind of one of those candies. See this? That's what it looked like. But it's kind of like one of those candies that like you bite, like you you have to like really really finish like the whole snack before you can actually discover what's in the middle. They kind of have like a little surprise in the middle for me. But yeah, let's try with this. Let's see what this is all about. has a little surprise in the middle the one the, the one a candy that i've tried that's like this the thing in the middle is kind of like it's like those those hard candies you chew i say you chew you kind of like you feel me you kind of eat the candy and then in the middle there's gum in the middle so like the candy just turns into gum at the end of the day from but yeah that's what it looks like it's kind of like pinkish kind of like pinkish for me I can see I can see the middle though. I can see something in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like a little white thing in the middle. If you see that? I can see it from right here too. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I can taste it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not really a huge sour person. Like I'm kind of bad when it comes to sour stuff. And I can always taste the sour. Mmm. It kind of shocks you. It kind of shocks you. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. See that? It kind of, bro. It kind of shocks you, bro. I don't know if you see it. I'm let it focus. Hold on. See the it has like a little fizzy thing coming out. And that thing kind of shocks you. And the thing is like, hold on, let me show you guys. It's kind of foamy, bro. Kind of foamy. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of foamy, bro. And I'm kind of a little suspicious about it. But it's a snack. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, ah, kind of shot, bro. It's like a little. Ah! Yeah, 
Yo, it's kind of foaming up. It's kind of foaming up. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of foaming up. I don't know what that means. I don't. Okay. 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 That was an interesting candy. That was an interesting. It's still in there. That was actually an interesting candy. Not gonna lie to you. That was interesting. That was really interesting. I'm not really a big like a sour person, you feel me? I kinda have like like a like my taste buds are kinda like really quick, you feel me? Kinda pick it up quick. So once I put the candy in my mouth, I already know it was sour. I can already feel it. And then the little fuzzy thing, it just kinda shocks me. It was kinda shocking me, like, feel me? My whole taste buds, my neck and like right here was kinda like kinda weird. But hey, that was interesting candy. And I kinda like the, the cherry flavor. The cherry flavor was like it made it taste better though. But we on to the next snack. This is the last snack. In the box, we got a um, what's the list for this? Like, we got the mint by Spare Larry. Spare Larry, we got mint menta by Spare Larry. It says Spare Larry mint hot candies are one of the most popular candies produced by Spare Larry in Italy since 1836. This it's a refreshing mint hot candy mixed with a delicious sugar base that provides an intense flavor for me. So, hey, I guess this is another surprise, man. I guess this is another surprise candy for me. Kind of interesting. Oh my god. All right, this is a little big though. This is a little, this is a little for a candy. For a candy, I kind of think this is a little thick. Like, look at the base of that candy, bro. Just look at this. You see how base, you see how built it is, and then look at how. How long it is. It's long and it kinda is thick, you feel me? That's cool. Kinda like that. I don't know if you can see it. Like that. That's cool. Let's go right there. And it has a little like line in between. That's kinda cool. That's kinda cool. Mmm. It reminds me of a candy. I can't really Mmm, okay. I give this candy a 9.5 out of 10. Cause it's kinda Okay, alright, alright. I see what this is doing. It's kinda interesting. This one is interesting too. Cause it's like it's mint flavored, right? And most of the mint flavored stuff, like 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 the mint flavored candies I've had, like when you put it in your mouth, it kinda like has this like it's a, it has like a strong mint flavor for me. That you kinda like I don't know, I kinda don't like mint that much. So like I really just try not to like have mint flavor stuff, you feel me? Because of like how strong the mint flavored candies are to me. Anytime I like I try a mint flavor candy, it's too strong for me. But this one is not like it's not really strong. It has, you can still taste the mint. The mint like you could the mint is in there. You can really taste the mint. But it's not as strong. Like it's not strong to the point where you can't really eat the candy. And it kinda has this little like it's kinda sweet, but it's kinda minty. It's like a minty sweet candy. That's really interesting. I'll give this like a 9.5 out of 10. This candy, a 9.5 out of 10. I think out of all the candies, I think out of all the candies, this will be my second favorite one. On top of the um, the cherry flavor candy. The cherry flavor candy is my first one. I give that candy a 10 out of 10 because it's kind of like a surprising candy. And then I'll give the the mint flavored one a 9.5 out of 10. And then followed by the um, the low um, the orange flavored ones. You feel me? But yeah. That's it for today's video, man. That's it for Italian snacks. You feel me? Hey, let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if you guys that like Italian snacks. I've not really tried it. Let me know in the comment section below. 
and I'll probably try and see if I can actually get those snacks by myself. But hey, thank you, thank you again for um try treats for sponsoring today's video. Guys, hey, make sure to use my code. It's Mikey for fifteen percent off your first purchase for me. And yeah, without it, I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. It's your boy Mikey. Hey, have a good day. Have a blessed day. Have an amazing day. And I'll catch your boys in the next video. It's your boy Mikey. No B. I'm in the woods throwing Eminem beats. When a nigga spin all I know is get feet. Smoking on sides, I ain't smoking no G. She know her men is a queen. All you have to do is dream, and all you have to do is want to fulfill that dream and have the strength to fulfill that dream. Pain is a sign of progress. When you feel pain, there is progress. I love you all. Enjoy. Wait, huh? Ice on a bike.